Welcome back to part two of the top 10 things to do in Scottsdale. We're covering six through 10 in this video, but go back and make sure to watch part one in the first five so you have the whole picture. And most importantly, remember, if you would like to know anything about buying, selling, investing, or relocating to the greater Phoenix area like I did, feel free to reach out and contact me. Any questions you might have, all my information is below in the description of this video. Let's get started. Spiking, and then I think next up we have Let's go just with nightlife. Nightlife? Yeah, let's talk about that. So There's no shortage of nightlife in no. Scottsdale. <laughs> no shortage of nightlife. It's to the point where if you are in certain areas and you're local, you probably try to avoid it a little bit because yeah. there's a lot. In peak season, oh, it's, crazy. it's a lot. Yeah. A lot of like different options. The main area um, that everyone talks about is like the district area. So there's the club district, right? So that's right in Old Town. That's uh, the most popular area, big with bridal parties. Um, and you have all the little golf carts that go all over the area, so you can jump in there totally. to make it easy for parking. And it's just a whole yeah. It's just a whole scene. It's a whole scene, yeah. You know, people and fly in all over the place just, just for the nightlife. And it keeps expanding. So like even Maya, which is one of the popular ones, uh, yeah, big on the pool, pool parties, parties right you know, now. Which is a whole nother, yeah. could be a whole nother topic exactly. of the, on the list here. It so. is actually on the yeah, list. Yeah. I don't want to jump ahead though. <laughs> exactly. So Maya is really big during the summer. They have their pool parties. They bring in like DJs. Um, another, um, there are a few pools that are pretty popular and so We'll get into that. Maybe they'll do number six there. Or that's probably <laughs> like eight or so. I don't even know what number seven. on, but we're just... See, so the, 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 yeah. the challenge with all the best top ten-ish things in Scottsdale is that yeah. they all kind of blend together. Definitely. Because, you know, nightlife can become resorts and yeah. pools can become this and that. So, totally. um, it's, so let's just jump to... Uh, we are covered nightlife a little bit. Yeah, but let's have a list of pool other parties. Comment, uh, yeah. Pool parties. Yeah. Same kind of thing, but pool parties, there's no shortage. No. So going to the resident DJ, so basically like even with um, Talking Stick, right? So Talking Stick is known for their legendary pool parties starting usually uh, right around Memorial Day, so in May and then up until Labor Day. And so like they even have yeah, because like... Because there's a lot of casinos in the area because yeah. of a lot of the reservations, so... Definitely. Um, that's a whole other thing that... Yeah, we hit one up last week, up casinos. so... Yeah, exactly. Gila River is another yeah. one that's not in Scottsdale, close enough, that's in Chandler. Um, but for Talking Stick, they have Cascade coming. So Cascade's gonna be here um, in, I believe, early September, maybe late August. And, and so they're also they'll... the concert. You know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I don't know what the word I want to call it. But she, DJ's live yeah, event she's, queen. <laughs> she's got the, a lot of information to share on concerts exactly. and all the different events and sort of. I, so. I, I like useless knowledge, apparently. <laughs> it's not useless. But, yeah, I mean, I like fun knowledge, right? So I love to have fun, you know, so this is my partner in crime for that. But mm -hmm. ultimately, I like that like, they bring the different DJs in, so you don't have to go to Vegas for that, right? So we get a lot of the same DJs that Vegas will, so Tiesto, like, you know, you'll get, like I said, Cascades coming. We just uh, saw um, Sick Kick last week. So well, I actually had a friend reach out and He's like, looks like you've been traveling or you've been out of town. I'm like, no, I haven't been out of town. <laughs> what are you talking Since about? June. <laughs> so that's kind of a good example that right? I've really been doing different activities within the area that yeah. you know looks like because that's probably pretty that, awesome. You know, yeah, you can do that in your own city. Looks like you're in Vegas or something. Exactly. But. Number eight. Let's do happy hours. Oh. Let's talk about your favorite thing. <laughs> I like happy hours. This is I do too. A lot of times, uh, three to six, most places yeah. are doing happy hours because that's a slower time. Yeah. Want to get you in there. Yeah. Um, get you in the door. A lot of times, it's it's you know if it's super hot, you maybe want to get out of the the heat into. Mm -hmm. The, the misted area or something, but definitely some great places they'll offer like margaritas are a big one. Yep. Tacos, margaritas, Joy Ride is one that's six dollars. Yeah, like, oh super yeah, always. So if you something. if you look around, if you know the spots to go, you could yeah. probably save several dollars if you want. Yeah on the happy hour and then even yesterday we were at Tommy Bahama and they had a happy yeah. hour every day. Yeah, and that was from two on to the five. weekend. Yeah. Somewhere in that range, yeah. like basically, yeah, we just missed it. And, and like, I have started a list of all the different places that I've been on Happy Hour. Yeah. I can share that if you're interested. Uh, <laughs> this list is like pretty long, and yeah. you know, what what the place is, what the Happy Hour is, and totally. you know, tacos and margs are a big one. Yeah, I mean it's the Southwest. Yeah. Like this is where you get your best margs and your tacos, and why not but get a, a nice little discount on that? Postino, so. and then, yeah. then there's um, all Postino the has a pizza good one on places. Tuesday, but yeah, like. 
your Sienna Gave Moxie's has is one opening, of the best ones. opening yeah. in Scottsdale. My daughter is going to be working there, so yeah. that's going to be in this well, the Scottsdale Fashion Mall, just around the corner, yeah. and that looks pretty nice as well. Pretty but awesome. There's just no shortage of restaurants, happy no, hours, not at all. pool parties, yeah. and that's probably what creates the energy. A lot of it too is that there's Definitely. so much to do, always something, to and do. it's nice out. So, you know, within reason on the heat, but yeah. there's ways of, uh, of accommodating for that, and it's short term is when it's Definitely. excessive heat. Oh yeah, but you work around it. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to talk about, you know, the elephant in the room, number nine. Let's go with golf. <laughs> now you can hear so, it in the little background a little bit. Some people are also, teeing off right, right behind us here, yeah, in front of us. No shortage of golf courses in the area. It is one of the top, um, it's now, definitely one of the top video on that too. Resort. I'll link it up here, like somewhere yeah. on the top. Well, I forget what I called it, but. Yeah, five or ish uh, or something. I did a, a review yeah. on all the <laughs> top courses, probably the top ten. Yeah. And it's just, no. when I was doing research more on that, because I'm not even a big golfer, but it was, it, there was hard to cut the list of that just a short amount. Oh, totally. Yeah. And people love their golf. Yeah. And Scottsdale's known for it. Like there are, even in this area alone, there's at least probably six courses that you could hit up and like you could make a guy's weekend, bachelor mm -hmm. party, like, or ladies yeah, weekend if the, you like not, golf too. Not to be stereotypical, <laughs> but women usually want to go yeah. and celebrate their bridesmaids and yeah. the men go out and golf usually. But you can do that as a couple still yeah. because there's an amazing spa right here and like this course is one of the best in the state. So um, the spa is amazing. So, you know, as a lady you could shop and not to stereotype again. It's just, um, I love how they're always developing new things and there's just like so much growth here. There's so much money and it's just, it, it's, infectious right like it's definitely very like uh, inspirational for me and so I love being surrounded by the, like this constant growth and this energy of like progress so yeah I mean there's no shortage of opportunity and things to do so definitely so Did we cover 10 already I mean kind of roundabout you know, type of way but, <laughs> but and some of them like they kind of <laughs> intertwine a little bit so I think that's kind of 10 if we missed True. any we can always do a follow-up exactly because something tells me there's going to be more oh, to certainly. the story here for Scottsdale but yeah. if you find this valuable you know, if there's anything other specific items you want to hear more about yeah. we'll cover a lot more on the neighborhoods I like to drive around and take Definitely. spotlights uh, talk about certain houses and on the market and how the market's doing and this little area and what's close by yeah. but this just a little c covers a general overview of yeah. Scottsdale and then we'll kind of yeah. own in for a little bit more from that but oh yeah so thanks Shay for no the worries. first and of many uh -huh. a spokesperson oh, yeah, for definitely. Scottsdale um, she's the expert so I thought I'd bring her in why not and if you have any questions reach out and subscribe and with that we'll see you in the next video See you soon.